friends, Miss Cassie here with Antelope Lending Library Story Time for All. This week we're going to read Chalk by Bill Thompson. This is one of my favorite books because it doesn't have any words, it only has pictures. So that means that every time you read the book, you get to tell the story. So I'm going to need your help this week to tell this story. We're going to tell it together. Are you ready? Here we go. Chalk. Okay, we've got three friends and they're walking outside. What is the weather like? Can you tell? Yeah, it's raining. They have their rain jackets on. One of the friends has an umbrella to keep, to keep dry. And they're walking towards something can't really tell what it is, but it's green and it's holding a bag with yellow stars and yellow moons on it. Hmm, that seems kind of special. So the friends open up the bag and what's inside? That's right, it's sidewalk chalk. Have you ever drawn with sidewalk chalk? It is so fun. You can draw anything you like. And sure enough, one of the friends, she takes out a piece of chalk. What color is her chalk? That's right, it's yellow. And she takes her yellow chalk and she draws a circle with lines coming out of it. What does that look like to you? Does it look like a sun? Yeah, she draws a nice yellow sun. And then what happens? Look, it becomes bright and glowy and it comes out of the sidewalk and it goes into the sky. It's the actual sun. She drew the sun and all the rain clouds go away and it becomes sunny and warm. So her next friend pulls out a piece of chalk. What color is her chalk? That's right, it's orange. And she draws some shapes on the ground. What do those look like to you? You can get a little hint from the picture. That's right, they're butterflies. So she draws a bunch of butterflies and they come out of the sidewalk and they fly into the air and they're orange monarch butterflies. That looks like fun. So then the third friend, he pulls out a piece of chalk. What color is his chalk? That's right, it's green. And he's drawing something on the sidewalk. We can't quite see what it is yet. Do you have any guesses? It looks like maybe a snake or maybe a plant. Uh-oh. Can you tell from the shadow what he drew? That's right. He drew a dinosaur. And not just any kind of dinosaur. He drew a T-Rex. If you knew that what you were going to draw was going to come to life, would you draw a giant animal that could eat you? Not the smartest choice, but oh no, they've got a, they've got a dinosaur. And the three friends are very afraid. So they run away. They run onto the play structure and they're hiding in the slide. And they're trying to stay safe from the dinosaur who is trying to eat them. He's so close. But then he has an idea. He pulls out another piece of chalk. What color is that chalk? That's right, it's blue. And he starts to draw something. It looks like maybe a cloud with some lines coming out of it. What is it that he's drawing? Do you see the raindrops falling? He drew a rain cloud. Do you know what happens to chalk when it gets wet? What happens to our sidewalk art when it rains? That's right, it starts to melt. And remember, this T-Rex was made out of sidewalk chalk. So what does he start to do? He starts to melt. And soon, he's just wet chalk dust on the asphalt. 
Whew. That was a close one. So the friends take the chalk, they put it back on the play structure. Look, we can see now it was a dinosaur holding the bag in his mouth. And they walk away and they leave it there for some other kids to discover and go on their own adventure. But the little boy, he turns around and he looks back at that bag. Do you think maybe he's going to come back another day and see what else he can bring to life? Maybe. The end. Chalk. Such a fun story. There are lots of books like this one that have only pictures and not any words, which means that you get to use your imagination to tell whatever kind of story you want to tell with the pictures to go along with it. All right. Thanks for listening, friends. Now go out there and use your imaginations to tell some great stories. See you next time. Bye.